Hi, in this video I want to do first impressions of the Essence Cosmetics. It's quite affordable, it has a lot of variety of colours and they advertise it just like this on their website as well. It's just affordable, fun to play with makeup. I used to use Essence a few years ago as I grew up and started to play with makeup so I'm very very curious to see if um, I still think that the quality is nice because I do remember and I, I really really loved it. It was one of my favourite brands and I want to see if I think the same, not that I've also played with higher end brands and had so much more makeup than then. I'm travelling, I'm filming outside so I do apologise for any background noises um, and changes in lights. Um, I'm also quite new to filming so please do uh, forgive any errors or things that could be perfected. You can always leave me comments down below with feedback. Please subscribe, leave comments, share and support me in this um, new journey. I went to DM and purchased as many Essence Cosmetics as I could find. But to be honest, they didn't have a huge variety. It was mostly nail polishes, uh, lots of different mascaras, and it was a bit of everything. The shade ranges were generally pretty disappointing. There were a lot of empty spaces on the shelves. So that's not Essence's fault. That's pretty much the um, supply that the shop where I went has. So I did try and find a few fun bits and pieces and I was mainly interested in vibrant summerish colours like yellows and pinks and uh, bright blues and you know colours that you want to have fun with and experiment with but you, you'd not necessarily want to spend um, high end prices on fun colours like that because you will use them only a few times here and there. I've already done my, my base, um, my skincare, my foundation and generally face products because I was not pleased with the shade range of the foundations in the shop. One was extremely pale and one was um, too dark for me so I considered it wouldn't have been a fair review if I didn't like the shade on me immediately. And also I've noticed that most of the foundations the DM where I went had were matte finishes and my skin is still really really dry from my treatment with Roaccutin so I need extremely dewy juicy foundations in order for my makeup to look okay. Regardless of that I'm still quite happy with the things I found. And to give you a bit of background about Essence, they do produce their products in the EU which means it's cruelty free so it's not tested on animals. So they sell the products at least with these very affordable prices while still abiding to the regulations and producing in the EU. Um, so that is something that I really admire and I'm quite passionate about. So the first thing that I saw and I was very very happy to find was this my must-haves eyeshadows from Essence and this is quite a cute pan and you take it out from the package and it's just like this and you take the protection out and you're left with pretty much an eyeshadow pan and I'm not sure if this is magnetic, I will do some research and find it out but this is gorgeous because you can basically custom your own palette If I remember correctly, Essence eyeshadow when I grew up was really really nice I will apply it with a brush um, Let me see I don't have a lot of brushes on hand because I am filming this while I'm travelling so I'm not going to have exactly the right brush for every colour that I'm applying and every technique I want to use but I'll see how it goes and let's see how it looks I'm not convinced about this yellow really see it on my, my lid which is a bit odd because that does look like a lot on the brush but then when I put it on my eye it's really not the best is it maybe if I try some more it will eventually show up it it's just not very well I will do the same to the other eye though if 
false it out and be able to continue with my look. And now let's set to my creams. Yay! It's not the eyeshadow spoiled at all. I want to use this, um, this brush as well for it, just out of curiosity to see, see what I mean? It's so much on the brush, you'd, f you'd think it's going to be a lot more on the eyes. I like it sheer like this, but I am aware that it's probably not what most people are going to expect from it. But we'll move on. It's not a complete disaster. And yes, the dog you're hearing in the background is the same dog that barked for seven hours in my previous video. <laughs> so the next product I'm going to use is this gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. And this is the Bean Original. No, Be an Original. And look how gorgeous this is. I was immediately drawn to it. It's lovely, lovely colours. I love the bright pink. That is the colour I'm most curious about in this palette and it's pretty much why I purchased it. And then we also have some fun turquoise, um, bright orange, uh, yummy yummy electric blue, some gorgeous um, browns and these type of browns are my favourite. I know it's a bit boring but I do love how they look um, all the time. Come on doggy. I'll just continue. Um, so looking at it, I want to add some pink and I'm very curious to see if this is any better. Again, the brush it picked up so much pigment. I'm very curious. this. It's very very blendable. The pigment packs on as much as you go in it will keep pack on and on. That is gorgeous. See so when you first apply it it's not that opaque you can see what I managed to do on the white eye, which is absolutely, absolutely mesmerising. So I am extremely impressed by this. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I did not expect the pink to be this good. And it's such a tiny eyeshadow in the palette. I did not expect it to be this vibrant and absolutely gorgeous. I think it's delicious and um, so I already can tell you it's worth the purchase this palette just for the pink shade and that's it. I like how they clearly state in the back that it contains Carmen so it's not vegan. I like that. <laughs> Carmen is probably in this gorgeous absolutely lovable pink shade. Right, the one critique I have already though is because the pans are not clearly defined or divided, the eyeshadow and the pigment can spread quite easily on the other eyeshadows, so be mindful of that. If you're careful, it shouldn't be a problem, but be mindful of that. Let's see how the orange will look slightly added on next to the pink. the same story as with the pink. It's not to pink at all when you first apply it, but then if you keep packing on the shadow on the eyelids, it will get there. I really, really, really like this. I love this. With a detail brush, I will try and add this um, dark eyeshadow as a sort of liner. 
because I don't have any black eyeliner which would look absolutely gorgeous with this eyeshadow. I will try add some more yellow with my finger, who knows, maybe it will work. Wow, so if I added the yellow with my finger, it seems to have worked better and I think it looks gorgeous. It's a bit difficult to work with it, but it's not bad. I want to add some sparkle and I will put this sort of pinkish gorgeous shade under my eyes. I'm very happy how this eyeshadow looks. I think it's gorgeous. And now I will use this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pants Pencil Life in Pink number 28. I was very drawn to this because it's a bright pink eyeliner. Put it a bit in the outer corner. So I think I spoiled it a bit because I tried to add too much and tried too many colours. I think you could even use this as a very bold, gorgeous, gorgeous eyeliner and use it as a bit of an eyeshadow as well. Wow, that is gorgeous. Now I will test the mascara, which is the Lost Princess Sculpted Folly Mascara. And I, I remember I really, really loved their princess lashes. The one that has pink, I remember it was absolutely brilliant a few years ago. I think it's actually the mascara that they had and they got really famous with. If I remember correctly reading about it, 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 it went viral. I couldn't find that one and I was quite sad about it but I did find this one so I'm very curious to see if this one uh, performs lovely. Yeah, I do remember the wand This mascara is absolutely amazing. I am so impressed by it. And I can only imagine if I liked the pink so much, how much the how amazing the pink would be. Wow, I am mesmerized by this. And it's so affordable. And the next thing I'm gonna try is this lipstick. It's shade number six. Um unresistible. <laughs> That's quite cute. It's the velvet matte lipstick. I really like this. Lip liner would probably help me. This feels very moisturising. The colour payoff is absolutely insane. And please ignore my faulty contour. I would really need a lip liner but I don't have any because I'm travelling. And I can't really remember why I didn't get one from them thing left for me to review is this Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. It's not going to go well with my current lipstick but I will use it for the purpose of this video. Yes, it doesn't really go with my look but I did try it and I think this is absolutely brilliant. I love this. I really recommend pretty much everything I've used in this video. I'm not too convinced about this this uh, wee yellow eyeshadow but I mean for the price you can try it and I mean I did manage to build it up a bit in the inner corners and if it's a sh eyeshadow you know you're not only going to use a few times then you can definitely use that one so very very quick recap um, I will continue to play with this eyeshadow palette and can make more looks with it. Please follow me on Instagram to see the looks I will create with this palette some more because I'm not able to show you so many colours and things in this video but I will recreate a few eyeshadow looks with this one and you'll be able to see them on my Instagram which is at Lipstick Cafe so please check that out in the future. I will also update you there how long this lasted and how it looked over the hours. But overall, I am completely in love with this palette. I absolutely love it. The pink is absolutely insane. The orange is gorgeous. And you know what? I will try and add this highlighted shadow to see if it works as a highlight. So 
you can use this shade as a highlighter and looks absolutely gorgeous it's a bit too um cool for my um sort of sunset sunrise gorgeous gorgeous um colors but you can use this as a highlighter and i think that is absolutely fantastic so this gets 10 plus a plus 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 whatever you want to call it this lip gloss absolutely gorgeous it smells absolutely fantastic it, it's not sticky which i absolutely love and i will definitely use this um not on such a bright lip color you definitely use this on a more neutral sort of nude lip but this is gorgeous and i really really like it and it's very very moisturizing on the lips mascara absolutely insane this is just one coat in my eyes and i think it's fantastic i will definitely definitely recommend it again 10 plus 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 the um lipstick absolutely love it it's gorgeous the color is absolutely insane brilliant color payoff feels really nice on the lips a plus 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 again um yellow must have shadow not condensed but as i said if you only use it for a few times then definitely worth it i did manage to build it up a bit and i quite like it eyeliner look at my hand prepare to be amazed right it's not going off this is absolutely fantastic definitely recommend this absolutely gorgeous but maybe use it with not so much colorful eyeshadow just use it as a bold statement as an eyeliner and that's it absolutely recommend this so there we have it and the only item left i didn't try out is this essence shine last and go gel nail polish and i did try to use it on top of another opaque color but it didn't really work like that it was um, not working as i expected but i will play with this some more so please check my instagram to see what i think of this one because I will update you and I will add insert pictures of this one and let you know what I think. I am absolutely mesmerized by how this looks. It's absolutely fantastic. Essence remains one of the best affordable brands out there. Absolutely love them. Still a fan of them years and years and years later. I will definitely play with more products of them. Really, really impressed. So, so happy I found this product. I think this looks is insane for the amount of money I spend. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you soon.